What actually is it, Mark? I know, what on earth is it? What were they thinking? Some kind of like boat Frankenbach. Are we gonna get on it? What's it actually for? I don't know if I want to get on it. All right, Mark. So you've brought us here to the lake with this thing. And I don't know anything about it. What is this thing for? Uh, it's a very good question. I don't know what this thing is technically called. Some sort of contraption, hasn't craft, been, hasn't water been vessel. Yet. No, <laughs> but it is going to be featuring in a GCM Plus documentary. So I can't really say much more about it. I am actually going to be involved in it. So if you'd like to see me going through a whole world of pain, then do stay tuned on GCM Plus. But I thought we could have some fun with it today. Yeah, I'm intrigued about that whole thing and always fun watching him and suffering. But what are we going to do with it today? I mean, what, what, we always what do, do you James? do with it? We're going to race it. No. Oh, going to do chin. swimmer oh. versus this tandem kayak thing. Ah, shotgun not swimming, so you're swimming. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm happy cool. with that. Uh, there's just one problem. Yep. I can't ride a tandem kayak. Got that one sorted. Own. Got a good ringer for you. Oh. John Schubert. Wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, so I'm about to get on this contraption for the first time. John's already on there looking quite smug. And he's, uh, he kind of likes his little little steed. I don't know what to wear. Do you wear swim stuff or do you wear cycle gear? I see John's in the full cycle gear. He's obviously not planning to go in the drink at all. I contemplate bringing my goggles, but he's pretty confident that it's stable. It's a tandem, James. Cycling clothes. It's but it's on the water. This thing is built to float. Okay, well, I, I believe you. I'm gonna get on now. Come on, boards. Permission to board. Very stable. Permission to board, Honestly. Captain. Don't, don't be scared. That's it. Oh yeah, it's over yet. You haven't tipped over yet. You haven't, you haven't pedaled with me yet. <laughs> James, do you know how to steer? <laughs> uh, apparently not by turning this thing. That doesn't turn. No, so, so you I'm... need a few instructions before we start. <laughs> apparently. You'll notice there are some cables in front of you. That are coming uh, off the stem. Oh yes, these things. Yeah, that's right. So if we want to go left, you pull the cable on the left and you push the right one forwards. Uh-huh. And you need to leave it on full lock for a bit. It's a bit of a slow turn, which isn't ideal uh -huh. when we're going around obstacles. But then to reverse it, we go the other way and it turns the rudders at the back. I see. Yeah, clever, isn't Ooh. it? So, yeah. Other things you need to remember, uh, you've got a Wahoo head unit in front of you. You can look at your power output. Oh, race of truth. Yeah, no, that's no it. No hiding here. <laughs> Cyclists. It's all dialed in. It's very scientific. It doesn't count if you haven't put it on Strava. <laughs> but the great thing is there's two of us. So the propeller that's under the water has the combined power of both of our legs. And you'll notice the cranks are at 90 degrees to one another. Oh, yeah, that's not normal, is it? No, so when I'm in the dead spot, you're pushing through the force of the stroke and vice versa. So it keeps oh. it nice and smooth. So we should easily beat Mark then in his swimming. He's just putting his wetsuit on and we've got him. No chance. If we don't, I blame you. We ready, chaps? Uh, I mean, I haven't even turned the pedals yet, <laughs> but I, uh, I've, got, I've had the crash course from John. He's taught me everything I need to know. It's bold. You're going pilot on the first, first attempt. Apparently, this is where, yeah, this is, this is his spot. I oh, couldn't right, take okay. his spot, so this, oh, is, right. this is where I am. I'm, I'm steering, uh, which doesn't steer. Don't worry, we're okay. Got it. I, got, I know cool. how to do it. All good. Right, you got no chance. Course, yeah, we course. are going to go yeah. straight up to the boy. Yeah. So it's like a, a drag to start off with. We are literally going to be launching drag, off drag, from here. Drag, drag Did you dive race in, off. Yeah? yeah, I'm going to dive in. Mm -hmm. Race that first boy. Yep. Hard turn, cross to the boy over there. Yep. And you've got a sharp turn there, which is going to be interesting on this guy. And uh, then straight back into this boy. I see how you've stitched us up with a more than 90 degree turn there. But, I'm going to need it. <laughs> you might. <laughs> going to need it. <laughs> Should we do it then? <laughs> Should we do it? Let's All go. Right. All right. right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Try not to crash over him. Wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. Taking his time, isn't it? Wait, it's the steering though. <laughs> Alright, here's our challenge. Stay left of it.
victory salute. I think we've got him well and truly beaten there. Good job. <laughs> well done, buddy. It's a bit of fun. Not sure I want to go Woo. much further on it though. Woo. Bit of work. Well, that was a bit of fun. I think we kind of stitched Mark up there a little bit with uh, that course. We thought the tight corners would, would do us in, but there wasn't enough of them. We'd need a much more technical course if we were actually going to uh, get beaten by Mark swimming. But Mark won't be swimming when he does the GCN Plus documentary. He'll actually be on it, pedaling, and they're doing something pretty crazy. So watch out for that on GCN Plus. It's gonna be interesting. It's quite an interesting craft that they've built there. So yeah, watch out for that. Mark and John doing something pretty extreme. Uh, maybe once they've finished, uh, they'll let us use that contraption again and we can do a triathlon where you swim and bike and maybe a zorb ball or run on the water. We can do the whole triathlon on the lake. That's a good idea, right? If you have your own ideas for what we should do racing that thing, well, hit us up in the comment section down below. Here he is, the man himself. You should have waited for me. I mean, we have been waiting for you for a long time, Mark. You're gonna have to swim a bit faster. Good job, good job, mate. Well done.